Example two, dividing polynomials, long division here. So we've got a fourth degree polynomial divided by a second degree. So these ones are a little bigger than the last example. Also notice, not descending order, not descending order, maybe also missing some things. So I, I wanna throw an example at you where you get to see some of that stuff. So let's go ahead and rewrite this, but in descending order. So this guy is going to be x squared minus 2x plus 3 divided into this guy. Well, let's write, and notice here I said by. Well, that's the same as if we just had our division symbol, right? And so let's rewrite this descending order. So x to the fourth highest power. Notice there's no cube in there. So I like to do this, plus zero x cubed. It just spaces things out for me. Otherwise, you're going to run into problems. Plus 3x squared. Notice there's no x term, no linear term. So plus 0x. Again, that's how I like to write them. Plus 1. Okay. Looks a little longer, but we're not intimidated. It's really the same process we just went through. So start here x squared into x to the fourth, or another way to look at it, I think it's easier, x squared times what is x to the fourth? Hey, that's x squared. So x squared there, and remember we're gonna multiply this through this whole thing. So x squared times x squared, x to the fourth, x squared times negative two x is minus two x cubed. Notice that's why we wrote that x cubed there, so things line up. Otherwise, this x squared would be here. You'd go to subtract in the next step, and it wouldn't make sense. They wouldn't be like terms. x squared times 3 plus 3x squared. And subtract. Remember, big step. Go through and change those signs so you don't mess them up. x to the fourth minus x to the fourth goes away. 0x cubed plus 2x cubed is 2x cubed. 3x squared minus 3x squared. Oh, that goes away. Well, I'm going to go ahead and write 0. 0x squared, just to line things up. I'm going to bring this one down. Again, you don't need the arrow. I'm just showing you there. Plus 0x. And let's go again. x squared into 2x cubed, or x squared times what? is 2x cubed, well that would be 2x. So plus 2x, take our 2x, multiply it through. You see in the process, hopefully kind of making sense, you see it's just kind of a rinse and repeat deal. So 2x times x squared, 2x cubed, 2x times negative 2x, minus 4x squared, and 2x times three is plus 6x and subtract. Not a surprise, right? Boy, we've already seen this a few times. Change those signs. First term goes away. We have 4x squared minus 6x. We're not done. There's one more number out here, so bring it down. So plus 1x squared into 4x squared. Oh, that'll go four times, right? Four times that. So plus 4 and multiply 4 all the way through this. So 4 x squared minus 8x plus 12 and subtract. We're almost done. So first term goes away. We've got 2x minus 11. It can't go anymore. x squared will not go into 2x. So this is our remainder, right? It's what's left over. So this did not divide perfectly. We do have a remainder. Again, we'll write it this way plus 2x minus 11 all over this guy, x squared minus 2x plus 3. Again, there is long division of polynomials.